I'm sweating like a fat kid at the buffet line out here. Hey folks, I know you missed me. A lot of people have asked me in the comment box, you know, between people trolling and being jealous and everything, you know, they, uh, they ask me, what's better? What's better, Bowser? The L-frame or the K-frame? Which one should I get, L-frame, K-frame? You know, I'm not necessarily having product uh, loyalty to Smith & Wesson because Ruger makes a hella good gun. They make a really good double action revolver. SP-101 or the GP-100, I think are really great. And just to be clear, I don't give a damn about competition shit. I am not a competition revolver shooter. I don't really care about the competition techniques and, and making your trigger super light and all that bullshit and aftermarket sights. I, I don't mess with that. I use revolvers and train with them as fighting weapons, period. These are made for fighting. These revolvers are made to smoke a bad guy if they try to harm you or a loved one, period. And you know, I'm old enough to remember seeing revolvers on the hips of cops back in the early 90s and late 80s. You know, that's, that's pretty much when they started to phase out of that shit. So here we are, L-frame, K-frame. L-frame, to me, is quintessentially the 1980s firearm. This was developed in 1980, and it was used by a lot of state troopers and sheriff's departments and city cops as a duty weapon. The 686, and then here's the 586, all right? What I like about this, it's heavier, so how is that an advantage? Well, recoil is not as bad as a K-frame. It's heavier, it's beefier, it feels like a python, okay? And it's, the, it's Smith & Wesson's answer to the python. The GP100 runs the same speed loaders, okay? Six or seven shot capacity. Uh, but the big advantage to me with the L-frame is that when I'm conducting a speed reload and you are jacked up and you're... Your heart's racing and you're trying to grab something, a small object, all right? The bigger the object, the easier it is to grab in a stress situation. What I found is when I grab a K-frame speed loader versus an L-frame speed loader, this is faster and easier to get in line under duress and load the weapon than a K-frame. That, that can make all the difference. So for that reason, as a duty weapon, I like the L-frame better. However... More often than not, I'm carrying the K-frame because it's slimmer, it's lighter, and it just handles like a dream. So, if you can afford it, get both. Uh, but, you know, as far as speed reloads, it's so much easier for my big-ass hand to grab that. So here we go. We're about 15 yards away. Let's do some shooting with this 586. Here we go. Shooting some hot Fiocchi 125 grains here today. We can be that fast one-handed. It's a hot round, man. All right, left hand, left hand. Okay, pretty good. Miss that smaller steel target I'm going for. 586, man, good gun. Man, it's hot. All right, and that's it, folks. Running out of time, run out of ammo. Be safe out there. I'll probably do a video of the K frame. And as Thomas Jefferson once said, and words I live by. I've sworn upon the altar of God, eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. And let that be our battle cry. Amen. God bless you.